Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the videos. My name is Mats and today we are talking about uh, a few things that I feel like you should all know if you are just starting video or maybe a refresher if you've been doing it for a little while um, but are still looking for some helpful tips. Uh, so before we get started, I am trying a little bit of a different setup. I've moved the desk around, doing a new audio sort of setup, uh, but I think it's gonna work pretty good. But let's get into uh, today's video. Uh, first thing uh, that I think you should consider if you are wanting to get into video and are still needing a camera is making sure that whatever you are buying has a good autofocus system and good lenses that complement that autofocus system. Um, for myself especially, and I know for a lot of vloggers or video makers on YouTube, most of us are doing it by ourselves. There's no one behind the camera to help with focusing and making sure everything is in focus. And that's why so many of us want a flip out screen, but more importantly, a good autofocus system that tracks faces because it is difficult to make sure that you are in focus like right now because I am fairly far away from the camera. I can see the screen, but I wouldn't know 100% if I was in focus. So knowing that I have a good facial tracking system is, uh, is really nice. So that's number one, is making sure that you have a good autofocus system that tracks your face, um, or at least um, is pretty accurate with uh, picking up certain things. So another thing that's really important about having a good autofocus system is that you know, as creators, we have to worry about so many things. We have to worry about what shots we're getting. We have to worry about making sure that we do at least have a shot list, uh, what we're doing that day. So making sure and knowing that we have a good autofocus system so we're not constantly thinking, oh my God, was that shot in focus? Or am I in focus right now? Or how do I, you know, how does this look? How does that look? You know, it's just one less thing that you have to worry about it doesn't get in the way of you creating your story and just makes everything look a lot better. So that's why I think it's really important to have a good autofocus system. The camera world right now is packed with a bunch of cameras and camera companies that are making systems that have fantastic autofocus systems, especially for video. So no reason why um, you should have a bad autofocus system. Number two, um, making sure that you have good audio. If everyone can see you, but they can't really hear you, or they can hear you, but it sounds like crap, uh, there's really no reason for that. And they're not gonna watch your videos, and you're not gonna get subscribers, and it's, gonna, it's just gonna be bad. So, making sure you have good audio. Super, super important, I'm gonna look down my notes. Um, so, uh, one thing that a lot of YouTubers um, and a lot of people who are doing kind of more of like the vlogging style setup rather than like what we're doing right now, which is more of like a sit down, is that they mount the microphone, whatever they're using, onto the camera and plug it into the camera. Now, that's not bad in all situations because some cameras do have really good preamps, but most don't. This is a bit more technical, but sometimes if you watch a video and you hear a lot of hissing or like background noise, like white fuzzy kind of noise. Um, that's usually because they don't have the recording volume turned down in the camera itself and that amp preamp in the camera is just working as hard as it can to make sure that it sounds good but it's really just messing up everything. So either having a microphone that has the ability to increase or decrease the gain itself and uh, not force the camera to strain so much and allows you to actually turn it down inside the camera uh, is really valuable. Or, uh, like what I'm doing right now, um, recording to an external audio recorder and then just syncing it up in post. It's a couple extra steps, but literally all I did before this was just clap to have a start point for where the both the audio feeds are mixing the one that's in the camera and the one that's in the audio recorder. So um, you can easily get microphones that do have that option. What I'm filming it, or what I'm using right now, um, the Ceremonic SRM3 does have that option. It's like $60 and it's a fantastic microphone. It also has an additional headphone jack, which is really nice. Um, my EM1, the original one, doesn't have a headphone jack. It just has a microphone jack. So if I do have it plugged into that and I need to make sure my audio sounds good, I can just plug it straight into the mic 
and I know that everything is working just fine. Um, and also it runs on independent power, which I do like. I know some people don't really like that. Some people are pretty indifferent, but I do like that because let's say I'm filming, um, my camera dies and uh, I don't, you know, and it's based off the power of the camera, then I don't have anything to do as far as audio goes. But if I have my external audio recorder, I can plug it in and life keeps on going. So, cause some devices don't run off plug in power. Um, so to have that option of it run on its own power is very nice and very convenient. Um, so that's one thing about audio. Um, external audio recorders are really nice, but I do understand that sometimes it's cheaper um, to run with just getting one audio setup, plugging it straight into the camera. It's way cheaper, way easier to work with. I totally get that. Um, I did that for a while. I still do that. Um, if I'm not here in the bedroom slash office thing, and then I'm outside and I have this thing 100% plugged into the camera because it, make, it makes life so much easier. Um, number three is lighting. Now lighting, is just like autofocus, just like you know your audio. If they can't see you properly, if you're not well exposed, then what's the point of spending all that money on the good autofocus system and the good audio if you're not gonna spend at least a good amount of money um, with lighting? Now, you don't have to spend a huge amount of money on lighting. There's a bunch of DIY stuff that you can do. Go to Home Depot and stuff and get some cheap lights and light yourself up for a pretty inexpensive amount of money but there also are a lot of very convenient, a bit expensive options that you can get um, that are fairly portable, like this light I have here uh, from ProMaster. It is their LED 120 SS, uh, super slim light is what the SS stands for. This is a rechargeable light. I can plug this into my power bank and recharge it while I'm on the go, um, and it's all dimmable. I can turn it down if I want to, turn it back up. It's really bright and it's really, really small. I can put it in my bag. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, this cost me about $90. So if you just get that one light, just spend $90. I, I know it's a lot, but just $90 on one light um, to light yourself. It makes a huge difference um, in your filming. Right now I have a light. Um, if I just use the lights that were in the room here, it'd be pretty dark and kind of hard to see. Um, our eyes are really good at picking up light and amplifying it for us. Cameras on the other hand, they're still not there yet in uh, compared to what our eyes can do. So throwing a little extra light onto what you're shooting is very, very helpful. Also, light can also kind of change the mood and the dynamics of the shots. Um, so if you want something a little bit more moody, um, you can kind of, you know, have a selective amount of lights. You know, if you want something to have a certain type of color to it, lights can help with that. Um, or the absence of light can sometimes even be um, something that is noticeable to the viewer and kind of sets a mood or a tone. So lighting isn't just there to, light a scene, it's also there to set a type of tone and mood to the shot that you're shooting. Right now, I don't really want to set a mood or a tone, so I just have it to light me up. But you know, if you want to be a little bit more isolated, maybe having a big light overhead with everything dark around you, and that just isolates you a lot more, um, there's a bunch of things that you can do with light, and it's, uh, it's, it's really fun to work with at times. So the final thing I want to talk about is storage. Storage is super important uh, when we're doing filmmaking and if you're also shooting video or shooting stills as well as video, um, there should be no reason of why you should run out of space. That should not be a handicap. You shouldn't say, oh, I wasn't able to finish this video because I didn't have enough space. I didn't have, or I couldn't finish this shoot because I didn't have enough space. Storage is so cheap now. You can get a two terabyte hard drive for $80, you can get SD cards for cheaper than that. So there's really no reason why you shouldn't be able to get or have enough storage to shoot everything that you need. Um, don't let it be a handicap. I, this is kind of like a tough love sort of thing, but I had that problem uh, this past Sunday and it drove me nuts. I was so mad at myself. I was like, how did I let this happen? I was so mad at myself. I was like, I have all these cards. I ran out of space. 
I should have had more. When I was leaving that day, I was like, I needed to have more, more storage, more space, because I knew I was gonna be shooting a lot. It was racing. I wanted to get absolutely every single shot I could possibly get, because it was my first time doing it, and I wanted to make sure I got all the shots I needed, and I ran out of space. Completely ran out of space. I was furious with myself, and uh, it just makes you look like an idiot when you're working with someone, and then they say, oh, did you get that shot of this thing? And you're like, no. I ran out of space. I'm like, you ran out of space? I thought, I thought I hired you to get everything. You're like, yeah, I ran out of space in my cards and uh, I didn't get that, so sorry. So there, you just, it's an awkward situation. Have the storage, have the space. And I think that's pretty much it. Good autofocus system, good audio, good lighting, good, you know, plenty of storage. And that should get you on your way and uh, maybe move on to that next level of learning other things that I'm still learning right now. So thank you very much for watching. Again, my name is Matt. This was a What's Up Wednesday. I apologize for being gone for so long. Um, I've missed doing this a lot, so I'm glad to be back in a new setup and uh, look forward to making more videos for all of you. And I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share if you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything that I missed, overlooked, or you want more explanation on, or if I explained it badly. So cool, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.